and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swoosh, and I wanted to review an average week on the Gap Options newsletter. The reason I'm doing this is because I always get questions, how many trades do you call in a week? This is what I would say would be an average week. Wasn't a crazy amount of trades, wasn't a, a, a just, you know, one or two. There are slow weeks, there are busy weeks. This was an average week. Win ratio was 67%. So again, out of every 10 trades, you have to set your risk accordingly. You're going to figure that six and a half or so, round six, almost seven, are going to work, and the rest are going to lose. If every trade that I took worked, I wouldn't have to size myself in any trade, but that's not the case. So you must choose an amount of risk that you can take the trades and let everyone play out to their natural conclusion. Now, if you want to kill trades with a 50% loss, there are some people that are doing that in the newsletter. I don't do that. If you want to do that, you can, okay? So this is, this is an average week, and again, it's going to show you how many trades you could expect if you sign up for the newsletter. For the six-month subscription or the 12-month subscription, I only have the half annual or annual. This is, an, this is an average. Average return of investment for this particular week, this counts the losers, uh, was 166%. So any questions, you can always email me. You can watch me on Fox Business, Fox News, and every other channel. You can email me at melissathestockswish.com if you have questions or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or, or Skype. So everything I do is based on the gap. I use my Golden Gap 26-point rating system to determine what gap I want to trade. On this newsletter, we do calls and puts. So that may be unusual because people are used to me shorting all the time. Yes, I do short, okay? Yes, we do puts. But, you know, I would say we do we do a we do more calls again which are longs on this newsletter than I do in the live room, probably. You know, so again, this is a newsletter where you will get long trades and short trades. They are calls and puts, and we are buying the call selling it, buying the puts selling it. So this is the week of May 26th. The win ratio, like I said, was 67%. There were six winners, zero break-even trades, three losers, and nine trades altogether. So there were nine trades in the week. Average risk, we're, we're gonna go over beginner risk here for people, was $1,000 per trade. That's not an exact science. I will go over an advanced trader risk in another PowerPoint to show people, but if you did all these trades, took the three losers, got six winners, Beginner trader profits, 14,100. Average return on investment, 166%. So again, some weeks we may have more than nine trades, some weeks we may have less, okay? So this was 516. Again, you see here the trades come to your email. So the newsletters will come to your email in live time, you take it when you get it. I call the Tessa 160 puts. Kind of interesting now, looking at this where the stock price is. Um, at this moment, but I called the puts in Tesla on 516 that expired 526. This trade did not work. Okay, I'll, we'll look at the chart in a minute. This failed. Again, if you took the trade and risked $1,200, the whole trade went bust into the expiration date uh, and you didn't make any money. If you killed it, you could have killed it with a loss of $600. Okay, you would have had to kill it before the last date. So just showing you here 516. It, it, it never went right. It actually reversed. So this had all the potential of the world, um, uh, and it just didn't go. The market also rallied at this moment in time, too. So Tesla closed here, gap down. I called the 160s. You can see here how that is would have been into the strike or above the strike, that it would fall into it. Again, this is a put. It failed. It rallied. It didn't work. Okay. And actually getting back to the killing it, you would have had to kill it really quickly to, to get out with half the half loss. Then I also called on the 16th, I mean on the 17th, the day after the Tesla, at 9.43 in the morning. Trades are usually sent out early, but I called this 9.43, 170 apples. This was again, expiration date 526, it was a put. This did not work either. This absolutely um, did not go right in my favor. Cost was cheap, $1.40. If you took 10 contracts, you would have risked $1,400, you would have lost. 
Let's take a look at what happened in Apple, 517. Here. Yeah, I see what happened here with this. Yeah, this just, this didn't go right. Again, this lifted, it did come back down, but it was a bust. So here's the 170, never, never got there. This was another one very similar to Tesla. Tesla reversed with the market. You would have had to kill it right away to save half of it. Cisco was another one. $45 puts I called, expired at 526. This was an earnings trade. Called it on 518. Cisco did not work. It was super duper, super duper, super duper cheap. Uh, 50 contracts, the risk was 1,000. I mean, it's just a huge side to take, but it's just because you're trying to keep your size similar. Something's really cheap, you wanna take less you can. Volume was there. Again, zero profit. Why? This loss because it did not work. So you can see here, this is, again, reverse with the market, like Tesla and Apple. Close your gap down on the earnings and moved up. Had a chance to go, could have fallen back down again, didn't do it, never did it. So again, we shorted this because we did the put and we did the 45s and it didn't go right. That was another loser. So again, Apple, Cisco, and Tesla were the three losers for this particular week of expiration 526. We did do PayPal, however, which was a huge trade. So the PayPal uh, was one that we did a lot. Uh, this I called it 1056 on Thursday, the 18th. Again, it expired the following Friday. It was, it was a really cheap price too. 55 cents, 20 contracts, $1,100 risk, sold at 95. Again, that's a good trade. 50% ROI is good. 100% return on investment is good. Profit $800. Now you took this on the 18th if you did it, or you would have done it, then it went mm -mm, and it dropped. See it? So again, this was a put. You see how it fell through the strike. And it worked. We also did the BABA puts. $86 strike, 526 was the expiration date, called it 11 a.m. on the 18th. This was $1.50, 10 contracts, risk was 1,500, sold at seven. You could have made $5,500. This was a big trade. 367% return on investment for the BABA. Now, what happened here? Um, what date was that? The 18th, yeah. Here. Boom. That just collapsed. So again, the 86 puts, you can see it fell through 86, 85, 84, 82. That, that was a nice short. Okay. So again, I'm not holding to the last day unless I'm down in it, which I did with the first ones we discussed that were losers because it could turn around in the last day. If I'm up in a trade, I get out of it before the date of expiration. I mean, I could get out of it the day before the date of expiration. If it's up, I just try to get out of it before the last day of expiration if I'm up in it. If I'm down in it, I'll play it out. You know, unless I'm, unless I'm close to break even. I might get out break even like on a Wednesday or Thursday if I don't think it's, if I don't think it's gonna go right and not take a loss at all, you know. Foot Locker was the next one we did Friday, 857. I sent this out in the pre-market, the 31 puts, May 26, expiration date. Foot Locker, we, we were doing a lot. It only cost a buck, could have sold it for five, a 400% return on investment and a really huge trade. Everybody that did the Foot Lockers made a lot of money because we did several strikes in this and they were good. This was, this was just a good, good, solid gap. Stock close here, gap down, rallied, fell, fell off a planet. Again, we did the 31 puts, which you can see here, and it fell through the strike. And a dollar was cheap. I mean, cheap, cheap, cheap. So this collapsed. This was a put. This was basically a short. So how do I make the pick whether or not I'm doing Foot Luck or, or Baba or anything I'm doing? I rate the gap. 
How to rate the gaps is what you'll learn in the Golden Gap course. You're not going to learn the rating system on the newsletter. The newsletter is a subscription service where you would get this to your inbox at 8.57 a.m. in the morning. Then when the market opens, you take the Foot Locker and then you write it out. So again, if you want to learn my method, you would take the class. If you just want to get the trades, you sign up for the newsletter. We did Disney, the $90 strikes, 9.44. This is pretty early. This was then the following week on Monday, expired the Friday. 90 cents was the cost, 10 contracts, risk was 900, sold at $2. Profit was $1,100, return on investment was 122%. This was a nice short as well. So called this on the 22nd here. Mm, there it goes. So that fell, one, two, three, four, five, just fell the whole week, actually. And again, you can see the $90 strike and then boom. So sometimes I'll call it at the money, sometimes I'll call it above, below, it, you know, it depends how I see the setup in the chart. We did another foot locker on the Monday, the 28 strikes, X prior to the 26, it was a put, 40 cents, sold at 225, and a huge trade. $5,550, you could have made risking 1200. That would, you know, a trade like this, I'm just using an example. Say you have $10,000 in an options account. It's a cash account. It's not a margin account. It's a cash account. You have $10,000 in it. You get a trade like this. You just made 30% on your money. Your risk was $1,200. That's okay with 10,000 cash. That's, a, that's an okay risk, you know? So this was a nice trade, 463%. Return on investment, and again, getting out before the last day, but actually it was still up the last day. Then we did low, it was the $200 strike, expired the 26th, sent it out at 8.34 in the morning on the 23rd, expired Friday, 70 cents, sold at 120. I'll show you what happened with this in a minute. Profit was $750, return on investment 71%. Again, cheap totally doable, even with a small account. So let's go over low, 23rd. So this was a bugaboo, okay? Because it gapped down and the first day was down. It, did, it didn't go right the first day. Again, I got done telling you I don't kill anything. I let them play out. Now, if you killed this at half the loss the first day, you were out of it. When it reversed immediately after the fact and fell, I got out. So just going back here, this is a good profit in a normal situation, but when you have something that's 100% reverses against you the day you take it, and then all of a sudden starts to go profitable, you must take advantage of that and take the profits out. So that, that did not, this did not go the way that I anticipated. I wanted it to drop like a brick right away as it didn't, but it was a profitable trade and it did go. So just to review here, this was an average risk of 1,000, or so, 14,100 in profits with three losers, six winners, win ratio was 67%, and average return of investment was 166%. If you would like to sign up just to get the newsletters, the six month subscription is $49.99. Trades are emailed to you, again, in live time to your email. That is what it is, okay, if you wanna sign up. This is a subscription service, there's no class involved, you would take the Golden Gap course, which is a separate class if you want to learn the method. I'm writing the gaps in the morning. I'm sending the emails. I'm sending them out in live time. Most are sent in the pre-market or early in the morning. A few are later in the day. Again, this has no prerequisites. You can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com to sign up if you want to sign up for that, which you can sign up today. There's, you can sign up for the newsletter whenever you want. As soon as you sign up, you start getting the trades. Now the process that I go through in the morning is to rate the gap using the Golden Gap checklist. I go through and I rate the gap. If it rates 20 points or more per my 26 point rating system, I will take the trade in the direction of the gap. If it's gapping up and it rates 20 points or more, then I will buy a call. If it's gapping down and it rates 20 points or more, I will buy a put. But the focus is about making money. That is the most important thing. That is absolutely what you should be doing all the time because if you are not making money, then something's going on. Either your risk is all over the place, it's not consistent, uh, you hold trades too long, you don't book profits, you don't have a good strategy, which is the case for many, many people. And I find that people also, um, you know, it, they think they have a strategy and they really don't. Like buying support isn't a strategy. It's something you can do, it's a setup. 
that isn't a strategy, okay? Because you can't buy support in everything. You can't even buy support in everything in this market or even a strong market or even a strong stock. But the whole point is to chunk it out. You know, everybody wants, the, the class itself is $69.99. Everybody wants to pay for the class and make the money back in one trade. I've had people do that. It may take you a couple trades. It may take you a couple weeks. It depends how much money you're risking per trade. The benefit is the long-term benefit of learning what I know in my method, okay? You can easily make the cost back of the system in a few trades, depending on your risk. Mid to average to higher level risk. Not small, like two or three hundred dollars. But you should look at it in the long haul. The larger benefit is truly learning the system so that you can use it for the rest of your life. Don't forget your longer term goals. So many traders get caught up in the past, live in the present moment and keep your eye on the future. If this is something you want to do to make extra money or trade for a living, you have to be very serious about what you're doing. There are challenges to trading and following someone, having a mentor, whether it's me that you learn in a class or signing up for the subscription service to get the trains is helpful. And again, I'm using a set method to do this, but it is all about financial freedom, looking at what your goals are between now and the end of the year. And the nice thing about trading, like I said, is you can work from home. So if you'd like to learn my system, I teach the class once a month. It is a two day class on Saturday and Sunday. It's always on the weekend. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the class is online. It can be anywhere in the world and take it. The Golden Gap System is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock. So, again, you will come if you want to take my course and learn all the points. Then you learn all the entries. Then you learn the targets. Then you learn the stops. I mean, you're going to learn it all. So the class, like I said, is called the Golden Gap Course. The class for June is this weekend, June 24th and 25th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $69.99. Everyone pays the same. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. You must email me for sign-up forms. If you want to do the combo, you save $500 by paying for both the trends and the Golden Gap at once. Trends course is 11 to 3 on June 27th. This is a great class because you learn trends for long-term trades, which help you with options. And then the class for July is July 22nd and 23rd if you cannot do June. Although if you can do June, you can, you can start trading right away. If you want to do July, this gives you time to plan. You've got a month to plan ahead. Class solution is $69.99. Again, class is online. It's July 22nd and 23rd, 9 a.m. to 5. And if you want to sign up for the newsletter, do it. Email me. Sign up. I have two subscriptions, six months, 12 months. No trials, no trials at all, and no one month subscriptions. Take advantage of this. It's a lot of trades, and it's well worth the money. Again, the trades are emailed to you in live time. If you have questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.